Hello everyone, this is Daniel Nunez with OneStopEnergies.com and today I want to demonstrate to you a new PoE silver plated Teflon coated vortex coil. <laughs> well essentially all this coil really is is the same thing like our regular design except it's coated in a special type of Teflon that's supposed to be rated for high voltage. So what we're going to do today is uh, push this coil to its limit and um, I'm going to pump about 70 watts into this coil and we're going to generate different Tesla style high voltage effects. So this is the setup like normal that we are always using. It's the reverse powered one-to-one -one design so basically you have coil one coil two if you want to call it coil a coil b and uh, you have your input going in this way comes out to an open end and then um, the same side you have uh, your input coming in this way ending on an open end so essentially this is like you're, you're creating a reverse powered extension cord or uh, something like that. You're, you're basically feeding energy through a wire and it's not going anywhere. So this is the, the wire termination right here. You know, so on this plug we have the start and finish of channel A and then we have the start and finish of channel B and as you can see the inputs are going to the finish of channel A and the start of channel B leaving me with two wire ends uh, that are left open going nowhere and I have just one little wire extension here and uh, we're gonna test out basically what kind of high voltage comes off of this lead so anyway enough of uh, that let's get it started up so this particular coil has a resonant frequency of 15.1 kilohertz and I'm feeding some sound in through an amplifier 15.1 uh, kilohertz and maybe I'll just turn off this light for better effect but I'm going to touch one lead there as you can see we get excitation through one just one lead you can hear some ozone hissing, the arcing that occurs in the coil if I put it in, put the tube in through the middle you can see there is a excitation there so it's starting to glow remove that now the coil is putting out ozone there's a hissing sound that's electrical arcing but since this coil is coated in Teflon, it should be able to withstand that. So I'm going to push it a little bit. Normally it would just destroy the enamel and ruin the coil that you're testing. This is a little pickup coil we're using to check out some of the wireless energy potential coming off of this unit. As you can see somewhere around uh, this is actually a little tough for you to judge, but somewhere around one foot up top we're getting LED uh, lighting and charge. So this is a pickup coil that's rectified. There's a little rectifier embedded into the, the tape. And that rectifier is charging up this capacitor. That's 4,700 UF. And somewhere around this distance of one foot, 
seems to be a decent charge or distribution of energy. If I bring it closer, of course, it gets a lot brighter. So almost next to it, I would say this LED is at its maximum capacity. So we are seeing wireless energy transfer. I'll put this pickup coil off to the side. There goes the ozone generating again. There is excitation. Let me just turn the light off. As you can see there is there is a nice compression of an, an electric field in the very center of the core. What I'm trying to do is pick up some of this some of this purple glow that we have around the, the coil. Okay, so now I'm recording freehand. I think this will be a little bit easier. So that's a peek in through the center. A fluorescent tube is going right in through the middle and the electrons that are condensed in the, the very center core or center hole rather those electrons are able to excite the fluorescent tube and any other plasma that you would fit through there now I've removed the tube and as you can see the coil is glowing in a corona discharge so I would imagine that I see it a little better than you because I'm here <laughs> but I'm trying to do my best to record and show you all what is going on there so I've just hit 5.2 kilohertz and it seems that that has enhanced the glow on this coil there is a hefty amount of ozone in the air right now I would not recommend for anyone to do this but the coil is glowing in a purple it's got a little purple aura there <laughs> so I'm gonna bring by this fluorescent tube as you can see the tube is lighting up it's pretty beautiful actually and very interesting to see it do this more for the sake of being able to learn about electromagnetism and some of these properties because this is pretty amazing so that can serve as a tokamak or a plasma fusion generator, basically exciting plasma gas for heat or electricity production right through the center of that core. So I'm going to power that off for a minute. Turn this light back on here. You can see what's making all that noise it's literally just wire a bundle of wire that's divided into two two strands that are looping back in on themselves wound in this particular design using a custom frame and once you hit the right frequency you're able to generate some really cool effects. So now another thing that I wanted to show you all is the inductive heating property 
and it's doing the same exact thing that we just did except now I'm putting a bolt in through the middle a bolt with uh, nuts on it and we're going to power up the coil again that's the same frequency as before except now that the bolt is there to receive all of that electromagnetic compression now it's not spewing out ozone there's no longer a really humongous electric field so basically the little bolt in the middle is taking the brunt of all of that electrical force right now so what's going on is it's heating up so using one of these heat meters you can come in here and check out the temperature increase The coil itself is cool, but the bolt is heating up. So should we leave that bolt in there for, let's say, a half hour or so, 20 minutes to a half hour, that bolt is going to get really, really hot. And uh, that's inductive heating. But the interesting thing is, is that we're doing... Uh, our inductive heating with open connections so this is the again this is the termination here right at the end so this wire comes out and terminates to this little point and that little point right there we can go ahead and connect something to it like this tube and we can check if the voltage is there or not. And I am pretty much at risk of damaging this camera because I'm holding on to, I'm closing a circuit, I'm closing an electrical circuit. And the reason why this tube is, um, is exciting is because my, my feet are grounding or, or it's actually grounding through my bioelectric energy so what I feel in my hand uh, where I'm holding the camera is a little bit of a pulse it's uh, an electrical um, shock if you will <laughs> and that shock is pretty dangerous not only for myself but also for the camera but just so you know because this is um, it's real high voltage electricity that we're dealing with so um, Again, that's, that's some of the wireless capability there. It's still generating at least a usable type of wireless transfer of energy. Now the field has compacted. It shrank. Before we were getting at least a foot. Now we're getting more around 8 inches away from the coil. So what else I basically wanted to put up this video because my account was recently hacked and a lot of information that was already posted up prior was deleted off of my account so I wanted to cover some of these properties for you all to make some better sense of why it is that I'm actually working on this type of technology why I find it interesting and why I think that there are so many ways to expand on what it is that I'm demonstrating here so I'm trying to get you all excited about this because it's pretty exciting stuff <laughs> so I say let's power this off and go for the high voltage corona one more time this bolt is already getting pretty hot if I left it for let's say another 10-15 minutes it would definitely um, be way too hot to pick up with my fingers so 
Let's go ahead and turn the lights off one more time. I'm also trying out a new camera. Before I wasn't able to record for very long because my camera was um, a DSLR uh, picture camera and I was using record mode. Alright, so there we have it again. Our coil there glowing magnificently with Corona discharge, high voltage. Voltage is surging through the conductor at fast rates generating a skin effect where the high voltage is literally on the surface of the wire creating an arc from one wire to the next even though there's insulation there. That's the silver plated Teflon coated wire It's quite beautiful, really. Alright. Well, thank you all for watching. As always, if you have any comments, questions, or feedback, feel free to post in the comments section below. We appreciate you all for your attention and your subscribing, your liking, sharing, commenting. We love what we do, so we'd love to share it with you. Thank you all for your attention, and make it a good one. Blessings.